Hi everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Blackheart Stage 4. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch, mostly for myself. So if you can't see it, don't worry about it. Um, because I'm going to switch over to Sharpie in a second. But I wanted to try to capture something fun, something a little different. Um, for this final awesome stage of, uh, of the pirate. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is have them all hunched over like this and uh, we can uh, have some fun with the skeleton ghost monster aspect of it, you know. Um, so mostly I'm doing this just to make sure that I, I have everything in here and uh, that I, I give myself enough room to play and I don't forget anything. Because I have a hunched over so it should fit top to bottom. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. Um, but like I said, I just got to make sure that I've got all the cool stuff in here that I want because, you know, this is the, this is the fun stage of... Uh, of this character you know so I think that ought to be good for a sketch and then uh, well let me let me define a few things here before I forget because that's the other part of sketching is that sometimes I'll forget stuff and uh, this helps me make sure that I put everything in because uh, I'll go back and I'll look at it afterwards I'm like oh you forgot this and you forgot that and uh, it helps to, you know, think about this, think this through before I really get started. Because, um, you know, like I said, you know, I forget stuff. And I want to make sure that uh, I have everything in there that I want. So, okay, I think I'm going to switch over to Sharpies now. You're welcome to continue or start with a pencil. But I'm going to move on to a couple of Sharpies, a Sharpie Fine Point and a Sharpie Pen which is actually finer than the Sharpie fine point, but that's how it goes. So let's start off with the the, the skull, because I, I like to start off with the face. Normally I, you, you sketch with the body and then add the head on, but because I've already sketched, I know where everything's gonna be, I could just dig in with the fun stuff, right? So let's just draw a big old skeleton eyeball. And he's got an, a real eyeball inside there like that. And um, we can pretty much do the same thing over here for the patch, because it's about the same shape, you know? And uh, once I define it, I'll add that line. But now I'm just going to kind of make a skeleton face. And I'm doing this with the finer Sharpie because uh, um, the big fat Sharpie is not going to capture all these details. So it's too big. And that's okay if you don't get all these details in. You know, this is just having fun with it. So, uh, like, I, I, I removed a tooth because it's, you know, just having fun. This is my style. This is uh, artistic license is basically what this is. So I'm just going to kind of define a few things here, like uh, his beard, because we've got to have edges of the hair, right? And... Uh, then I could start off with the uh, the big fat sharpie, and uh, I know color has a lot to do with this too. So I'm uh, not going too crazy here. Okay, and let's see. I think that's good for the the skull. I can pretty much start with the uh, the big sharpie now, and I'm going to add a couple of hairs in here with the fine sharpie once I get started. But I need to start adding some more things here. So. Let's add his, uh, the edge of his, of his, uh, no, actually let's do the beard because that's going to, that's going to define a few more things, right? So I'm just kind of having fun with it and I'm just drawing a kooky, crazy, uh, um, pirate beard, just the edges because, uh, it's white. And so we don't want to go too crazy because color and, uh, and that fun stuff is going to take care of the rest of it, right? Okay. So that's the edge. 
So I'm gonna have a little bit fun, a little bit more fun with uh, um, simple lines. And I'm not gonna go too crazy because I said, again, that color is gonna do a lot of this. But, you know, it's it's a beard. It's, it's one of the, the funner things to draw when you know how to uh, draw a flow, you know? So that's all I'm adding. It's just a few little extra hairs to uh, um, accent a few things. And that's it. So let's, let's stop there. That way we're not going too crazy because I could, I could draw every single line if I wanted to, but we don't want to. We want to leave uh, some of that for coloring, okay? So now I can define his, uh, the border of his, his hat, which is the top of it's going to be there. It's going to come down and do like this and do that. And that'll take care of the edge of his uh, hood. And now I can draw some more lines just to define a few more things, right? The color is going to take care of those spots, so I'm not too worried about that. But I just wanted to define a few things like this in his uh, eye patch here. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm not going to color those in. I'll worry about those with color. Okay. So let's go ahead and define his uh, hood. I'm just going to bring it down like this. This other one like this. Okay, and that'll uh, give us uh, those edges. And I'm gonna add a few more, just to have some fun. Because, like I said, this is the fun, the funnest stage. This is where the uh, the pirate was headed, right? Unless you didn't go past this, you know, then you know, I guess you got a regular looking pirate. But we're gonna have fun with this one. So, let's see. There is the the medallion or the doubloon necklace that he's got. So let's add that real quick. And let's see, a couple more here like this because it's going under his beard. Let's go ahead and connect it with a thin little line like this. Okay. And uh, I like drawing what's on top first and then build my way down because uh, it, you're, you're basically drawing what's on top just because it's on top, you know, it's what's there, you know. So I'm going to draw the top stuff first and... Uh, draw underneath it afterwards okay and those are the the uh what do you call it the uh seaweed and barnacles and things like that that are growing on them so i'm gonna i'm gonna add those and i'm gonna just kind of do something like this and because i'm defining it i get to kind of make it however i want you know i'm gonna follow theirs because that's uh the style but uh, i'm still getting to do what i what i want because of my artistic license and what I mean by that is, I'm the creator. I get to make whatever I want and however I want. And I could be wrong if I'm not following someone else's design. But, again, this is what I want to do, so it's my artistic license. And that's where that word comes from. Okay, so I'm drawing his uh, shoulder pads uh, um, underneath all this. And so, because of, uh, you know, a lot of it goes underneath, there's not too much that we can do, but... We can have fun with what we can see. All this inside, the detail, not going to do that. That's going to be taken care of with color, okay? So, uh, we've got the top edges of this. So now we can draw a few of the little uh, things that are hanging off. And I still don't know what these are. Um, I call them uh, curtain ropes because that's what they remind me of for some reason. Like, you know, that, that are hanging down. Okay, so I'm also going to come back with this Sharpie pen and add just some thin lines like this just to define it and add a little bit of technique and style. And that's why I like playing with a thick versus thin because see how cool that looks? It looks look, look, much better. Bah, can't use my words right. It looks much better than just using the same consistent thick pen all the way through. Okay, so here's where it's going to get a little tricky and I'm going to try to, you know, not go too crazy with this but uh he's got bones underneath here so we're going to try to define a few things and then draw some uh um rib cages here okay so i'm gonna cheat and bring it underneath there so i don't have to draw too much there but i'm going to add a few uh rib cages or ribs it's not rib cages he's only got one rib cage right uh a few of them like this 
and that I'm going to bring down because that's more seaweed. And that's all I'm really going to do. I'm going to do a couple more over here, but see, it's going to keep it that simple because color is going to take care of the rest of that, the way he glows, depending on uh, what stage you have your uh, black heart at, you know? And there, I'm going to keep it that simple, that easy. That's, the rib cage is done. We're not going to go crazy, okay? Um, you can see the spine inside their design, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to do this to keep it fun and simple for us, okay? Um, let's go ahead and do the arms since we're over here. This one, I'm just going to kind of do something like this because it's all ripped up, you know? And so uh, we don't have to get too crazy here, um, but we do have to define the bones, okay? So we're going to do this bone like this. That's his uh, arm bone. And then it's going to go into the, uh, uh, I can't ever remember if it's a fibula and tibula or if that's in your leg. I'll have to look that up sometime. Anyway, there's two here. So we're going to do like this and stop because because of my sketch, I know that his uh, sleeve is like this and that's covering up um, uh, the rest of his arm. See, so I fell in right there, but that's okay. Not worry about it. We're just going to have fun with it. So we're going to draw his other part of his jacket because... It's back behind it. We're going to draw it like that. And so uh, that gives us that full arm. Okay. And now we're going to make a, a skeleton fist. So I'm going to kind of come out like this. And draw some bones. And there. We're going to finish that up like that. And I'll take care of coloring. We'll show you exactly what I did there. But there. It's basically a fist like this. And you can see these bones outside of the glove. Because the glove is still there. Okay. So let's draw this hand up, the cool, fun hand. We know we want to get to this one, the, the hook. And so I'm going to draw the battered up sleeve coming up like this. And it's all hunched over because it's, it's, it's sticking up. So I'm just going to draw some uh, lines like this. And that's, again, just to define that it's, it's, it's bent material, you know? Okay, so let's draw the... Uh, um, what do you call it? The, the, I guess the hook, you know, cause he's got, um, chains here, but there's a big piece of seaweed covering up a lot of that. So we don't have to worry too much about, uh, detail in this. I'm going to draw a little bit of chain underneath that. I'll do another one here. So there's one link. I'm going to bring another link down like this. And see, we can kind of get away with a little bit more because that seaweed is hiding a whole bunch. So, thank you for seaweed, designers. So, now I'm going to draw the rest of his uh, hook like this. going to connect it right there. And I'm going to go up there. And it's going to kind of hook like this. What's funny is my sketch is over here, but I know what I was going to do, so... I'm just kind of sticking to the uh, idea, the design that I had. And so, again, he's got some more seaweed here, so that's going to cover up a lot of stuff that we're doing. And I'm going to add just a few more lines like this, just to define uh, the, the look of the hook. The hook look is basically what I'm doing, all right? You like it so far? Cool, me too. So let's keep going. Um, let's see, we gotta draw him a belt. I'm gonna do like this because it's it's kind of at an angle because he's hunched over. I'm drawing it this style. And so if you can, get in here and do like this to define the inside of that belt. And then uh, he's got some more seaweed hanging here. Okay, that's hanging off of his belt. Uh, a little bit more over here. And I'm drawing that first so it could be over everything, okay? And so now I could draw the rest of his belt and his uh, um, waistcoat. Because it, it hangs off and i got to remember to draw like that. Because I always forget the back of the coat. So I'm just kind of doing that for a reminder of myself, okay? And so here's his belt. Like this. And we'll do the other side over here like that. And we're going to do the same thing uh, that the coat is hanging off of his leg. And the coat. 
Yeah, the, his waistcoat is hanging off of his leg. Okay, and there's his belt. And uh, now we could draw his shirt that's underneath, like that, going up. And he's got that that hanky is still hanging down. It's torn, but he's still got it. It's hanging off there. It's holding on. He's a he's a polite pirate with his hanky, whenever he sneezes. Okay, so there's the inside of his coat, and so now uh, we can draw his pants. So I've drawn his uh, inside of his coat like that, so I know that his, his crotch is going to be right about there. And so I can just draw um, sh shaggy pants is basically what I'm going to call it, because he's got uh, creases and, and, and bumps and, and beat up just because, you know, he's a, he's a pirate. He's been through a lot. So this one we're going to... Uh, make it jagged and off like this and that'll take care of, of those pants and so now like like before we got to draw some bones and then the uh, peg leg you know so that's still there so we can put it underneath the pants like that because it's kind of come out uh, from the way it was it's not tucked in anymore you know so then I'm just gonna do something like this for his his peg and he still has that uh, before it was a, uh, a scarf hanging down but now it's seaweed okay so we're just gonna do something fun like this and that's the, the seaweed tied off onto his peg leg okay so let's uh, let's see we got to draw his boot like this And I'm doing that just to define an edge. Um, and it's going to come in just a little because here he's got bones sticking out. Okay. And uh, again, remember there's two bones here. So I'm going to do one like this. And then draw the other one kind of broken like that. And now that that's there, I can draw the other side because see we can see right through because it's bones it's biggity bones and so he's got uh let's see he's got what is that i don't know what it is but it looks like something we're gonna hang it off right there it looks like part of a map or something tucked underneath his boot don't know but we're gonna draw it and on his boots he's got rope that i'm gonna just do like this to define a few things and that'll also help me hide his shoe i can do that rope but it's cool because this also helps me define where his foot's gonna be too okay and so now I'm gonna draw his tread like that and that'll help me uh, define a few things and so now I'm just gonna add just a few more little details and then we'll take care of the rest with coloring and so uh, we'll, we'll not worry too much about it because you're going to color it how you want. I'm trying to decide which way I want to color it since there's so many different uh, um, versions that you can do and uh, make it your own, you know? So uh, one last thing I'm going to do here is I didn't draw the, uh, the top of his coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just define this right here. Because where it connects. See, I always forget this. And then it connects down to here, is what we're going to say. This other part of this coat. Alrighty. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and color it. So, for now, that is Blackheart, stage four. So, here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used. Or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.